I've never done two games side by side. What did you make of it all? Yeah, two games side by side and two games that both got cancelled and <laughs> yeah, running on and restarted. Um, very good. It was, it was to be fair, it was Darren's idea. He came to me at the back end of the season about, about the idea. It meant to be the stadium, obviously, with, <coughs> with us running late and with a few things, it wasn't able for us to play it there. And once we just behind closed doors, so we, we have a training facility here that, that is outstanding. So we, we ran them both together, and it was a, it was a really, really good exercise. And, when you see how many young players we had out playing, it was uh, when you think there's eight of our players have come back from isolation. Uh, we've still got five players who are still in isolation. Um, we hope to have news in the next 48 hours of two more players coming in. So, um, yeah, it's been a very, very good morning. Uh, uh, I started the day, uh, I was speaking to somebody last night about how hard this day is going to be. And uh, I said to myself, I'm not really looking forward to it. I didn't think I was going to get any deals done, and I thought the games would have been a lot more difficult, a lot more difficult than what we actually were. And I think the players were were very, very good in certain stages. There was a lot of components to poor finishing from both sets of teams, uh, some really poor defensive errors, and too open and being exposed in certain areas. But we've not trained. Yeah, we've not trained for ten days, and. Because to put this performance in off the back and not train at all it was very, very good. Do you need to sit down with the analysts now? Because there were two games. It's very hard to watch both both pitches at the same time. Do you need to sit yes, down and look through? Yes, yes. Well, anyway, you know, that's yeah. my personality. But I think it was more of a case of me. I did get a chance to see both of them, sort of give myself a little bit of depth for both games and sort of stand as close to one. I sort of stood back a little bit. And, uh, it was good. It was a really, really interesting exercise. It'd be one that you'd, you'd love to replicate, actually. Um, I really enjoyed it. I don't want to replicate, I had to write a report on two games, but we'll leave that out of That's it. That's probably why I want to do it. Yeah, cheers mate. Um, that gave everybody a run out. At what point do you start finalising it and your your season starting 11 starts right playing? Right now, just where am I? Um, you would have seen probably the start of 11 play on Saturday. Um, but obviously with what's gone on over the last sort of for 10 days, it's really put the cat amongst the pigeons. Like, does Matty need to go again? Sadly, mm. don't think he does. The, the, so you, you, you're looking at things, you... We have a game now penciled in again here on Tuesday, so that will that will that will help that situation. Yeah. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, a lot of players they were 90 minutes. I think some of the play, the players that we're going to bring in, hopefully, one deal's been done. Um, he'll be here tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we'll get the other one finalised tonight as well. So we'll two of the players to add to the group, as well as like I said, Billy Bowden, Sam Long, Luke McNally. Um, and Alex Cotton. I just have one last question. John Massinio coming back out there and playing again. Brilliant. Yeah, and also, yeah, he really, that's great for him. It's uh, a lot of hard work he's put in over, over the last sort of seven months, and he's a, he's a tremendous man who, who conducts himself in an impeccable way. He makes ageing look very, very easy. Uh, I don't think he knows the, the meaning of that, but if, for, again, as well, and, and not just him at 34, 35, I think. 34, 35. You've got another player there who's 16 years of age yeah. who played up against uh, Smodic, who to me is the best number 10 in the league. And he was unreal, kid.